Hi, I'm Rohit. I'm going to demonstrate Morphal Digital Pathology System. It consists of this whole slide scanner, which is a tabletop machine, and the computer, which contains the driving software, the data storage, and the viewer software. So let's try and scan a slide. So I have this tissue biopsy slide, which we are going to try and scan. Uh, let's do take scan. It is asking me to put the slide in the cassette. So this is the cassette. It can hold six slides at a time. I'll put uh, the new slide and just release the clamp and uh, that's it. I can put the cassette in the slot like this and I say done. And uh, let's try and send the slot number three where we put the slide. And uh, I can either do a full scan which can select all the tissues in the slide or I can select uh, some part of the scan. Uh, click to confirm, I can name the slide or I can simply read the barcode if the barcode is available. Click to confirm and start scan. That's it. So from here on it is fully automated. While the scan finishes in next couple of minutes, let's look at some previous scans. So let's open the scan. The scan is a whole slide image which can be zoomed in, zoomed out and navigated around uh, much like Google Maps and it's a well understood interface hence the adoption by the pathologist has been really easy. Now once it is digitized we can simply click this upload button and it will upload on the cloud. Once uploaded on the cloud the user can access it on the Morphal dashboard and it can be accessed anytime anywhere uh, it may be for a work from home purpose or for tele-reporting on the move for an emergency case or maybe just to share with a remote pathologist for a second opinion now beyond this Morphals offers something important which is quantitative measurements I can drop uh, two points like this and it will give me the physical distance between these two points in microns. This is just not possible on a regular microscope because uh, the ruler that is used to measure will never give this kind of resolution. And it is of course cumbersome. So this adds the objectivity and hence uh, improving the interobservable variability. Uh, beyond this, we could even measure uh, something as small as a nuclear area. I can simply drag a loop around the nucleus and it will give me the area and the perimeter. This is especially useful for uh, uh, different cytological investigations. Uh, then there is an interesting feature that Morphol offers is that is called synchronous browsing. Here uh, two scans can be loaded in side by side and they can be browsed synchronously meaning the same area can be observed on both the scans simultaneously. This is particularly useful for IHC analysis where consecutive tissue sections are stained with different antibodies and correlated clinically. Conventionally, pathologists uh, would have to juggle between slides, remembering and navigating back and forth again and again between the same areas on the two slides. This is so much more easier. Apart from this, there is another interesting feature that is area tracking feature. Now, uh, in pap smears, uh, the pathologist is supposed to screen each and every cell available in the sample. That is very difficult to ensure in a regular microscopic uh, system. Here, uh, however, we can simply switch on this feature and uh, while the pathologist navigates, it keeps painting the area seen in the preview. Now, uh, if some part is missed, the pathologist can clearly see it in the painted part and uh, jump to that area so that uh, ensuring that uh, everything is covered. Now, this is a simple feature, but it can objectively ensure a reporting protocol. 
discovers all of the basic features of morphal digital pathology thank you